Good evening, everybody. Welcome inside Groves High School in Beverly Hills, Michigan, on this lovely evening of high school wrestling action. Tonight, we have the Groves Falcons and the West Bloomfield Lakers getting ready to square off. They both already had a match this evening, and this will be the, the final one of the night. I'm joined by BACB Sports' own Andy Aubrey here in the booth tonight as we get set to get going. It's loud in here, Andy. I'm getting a little distracted by all the action. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy to be joined by Andy. What, what should we look forward to tonight, and what have we already seen? Well, these two teams are warmed up for oh, sure. Yeah. They've had their share of mat time already, and we see our first participants putting the wrist, uh, sorry, I guess we call those ankle bands uh, with the colors red and green. Yep. And we're going to try and get some names for you over here before we get going. We're starting. Let's get this puppy underway. Yep, Groves is in the green and yellow, and West Bloomfield is in the all green with black and white as well. Andy is... Uh, Got the inside source to yeah, uh, gathering the info on the weight class and the wrestlers. Caden, Caden, Phil Hout. Yep. He's wrestling uh, weight class 152. He came in at 147.8 for this one. Yeah, that'll be the, the Groves wrestler. And it looks like we have uh, Elon Becker, right? Yeah. Or would it be Xander Hampton? Well, let's see. He's... I want to say it's Xander because yeah. he's probably he's at up at the 150 range if this so. is uh, max at 152. So so we have uh, Caden Philhout here in the uh, green and yellow for the home Groves Falcons. We saw Groves defeat Farmington in their first matchup of the evening. And then West Bloomfield played Farmington and defeat them as well right before here. So everyone is... Uh, Ready to go as we see uh, some action here as it looks like Caden's looking for a takedown. But it looks like Xander Hampton staying up well with the good lower body strength. We always see a lot of uh, different types of knee braces and protection here as wrestling such a physical sport and the conditioning and the work that goes in day in and day out for these guys to stay in tip top shape, make their weight move down, move up, whatever they want to do here as we see. Looks like a uh, near takedown here for Groves. But Hampton appears to get the tripod high and stay out of it. And now uh, reverses it a little bit. Xander keeps the legs moving. His coaches are encouraging him to get back on his feet, and he does. Staggers back a bit, but he's up. And that'll be the end of this official Bobby first period. Hearn. Yeah, let's take uh, let's take a look at some of the action here in this first portion of our first match here in this particular go round, and they're going to start again. Another two minutes up on the clock. We'll start with Xander Hampton here down, and Hayden Philhout will now. Be on top, both guys separate and they're ready to go. Our referee is Bobby Hearn, right? Yeah, he's been around. He's a savvy veteran, a former wrestler himself. He's been in the game 20 years. 20 years, so he said. Uh, he had a history in, in Maryland, as he, he said, for 12, and then he's been here ever since. Yeah, he's definitely a, an old veteran you like to have around. Uh, loves the game, loves giving back now as, a, as an official. and. Wouldn't have it any other way. Seen a lot throughout the years, uh, telling us some stories before in our media catch-up that we we shared with him here uh, earlier yeah. this afternoon. Right. What did he say? He says we asked him what what is it that stood out over the years. He said mainly he doesn't like wrestlers going airborne. Yeah, that's uh, we saw a little bit of that uh, almost in uh, the first match uh, yeah. earlier this evening, and it's always scary making sure the guys can land gracefully and not put themselves in any position to further get injured and concussions are such a big thing yeah uh, and, in, and that. in all sports right now so to prevent that you have to really land with grace and kind of learn I don't know if you knew but even in uh, oh we see Xander Hampton get uh, Phil Hout down here but uh, do you know the Miami Dolphins have 
had two attack of Iloa learn how to properly get tackled because he had so many concussion issues. So he had to fall a specific way, and that's what a lot of these wrestlers have to do. Because they're constantly getting driven to the ground. You have to kind of prevent your head from, you know, whiplash type things or just straight up going into the ground. Yeah, you hit to, uh, it seems like some, some football players do take bigger shots than others. Others have learned the, the art of, of glancing off the tackle, and this is very similar to that. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it is a softer ground, but it's still hard and a lot of mass and muscle moving as we hit the end of this round here. Both guys slow to get up. Well See some more of that action here. here. This yeah, is a real good shot. Real good shot here as they're getting ready to, to start the third, uh, third round here. Two minutes up on the clock, guys sparring. Groves is coached by the legend around here, Joe Jones, and West Bloomfield coached by Greg Alessi. So these uh, two coaches that really know what they're doing, they've been around, and uh, definitely the right guys in place to, to lead their respective programs. Well, they love to work with young people, and we don't know Greg all that well, but he was really very friendly and nice to us beforehand. Joe Jones, of course, you mentioned legendary status. He absolutely is, and he's been one of our favorites to work with for many, many years here, and back when we were doing the Beyond the Box Score show, we'd come to their practice each year and interview some of their wrestlers, and always so much access and a lot of great inside information, and and uh, Joe has been, well, let's say this, we'd like to see him here forever. He's yeah. been that good. Legendary status, that's for sure. He's almost the same as uh, what Andy Aubrey is to be a CB Sports. <laughs> I don't you know, think just been so. been around the block. <laughs> You uh, always uh, walk into a room and people are turning heads. They, they turn away from me, as a matter of <laughs> fact. Yeah, we didn't say which way the That's heads correct. are turning. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, they turn That's towards right. the wall. They pretend they're talking to nobody. Oh, but any time we're out in the, in the community and I'm with you, people are coming up, I tell you. Yeah, for some reason, probably because I owe them money <laughs> and they want some. Yeah, yeah, right. Here we see some action here as it looks like Hampton's looking to try to get a takedown here, but a, a high tripod position by Phil Hout to try to prevent that. And so uh, right now, so far in this match, Hampton has had all the points thus far. And he's outscoring Phil Hout five nothing so far as we approach the end of the third round. 30 seconds remain, Phil Hout reaching and then the whistle goes. Looks like he noticed a little Call uh, an official time here. May have a little blood. Yep. Looks like the hand of uh, Caden. Uh, I'm sorry, it was West, West Blue. Yeah, Xander Who was Hampton it? looks like Xander's he, got the blood going. And, but I don't think it's his. He's up here at the uh, scorer's table. Yeah. Uh, there you see you the legend uh, Joe Jones himself looking on. There he is. He's and laughing, the, uh, he's pretty loose. He's always pretty loose. Oh, he's always smiling. Chopping it up. Yeah. Speaking of legends, we got Kelly Salter over here, the very fine physical trainer here at Groves High School, and she's had her hands full tonight. She's stuffing a little gauze up Caden's nose for that yep. that bleed. Yeah, we she's, thought it was uh, Xander's, but uh, yeah, no, it wasn't his blood that was on. It wasn't his. Him. Okay. So a short short recess to to get them all plugged up, ready to go. Finish this one. Twenty nine seconds to go in the third round of this opening match between the West Bloomfield Lakers and the Groves Falcons. We're gonna see you good, you got your, uh, get it checked out and all is well, I believe. They're gonna get ready, final sanitize. How about that commute in though today? It was a, uh, it was a little dicey, a little um, haze in the but air, I don't fog. think it was worthy of closing schools, which no, many were in the area. Not why, Birmingham, though. That's, that's why, why Birmingham we're, we're here. That's why we're here, right? Yeah, yeah. I swear, back in my day. In my day, yeah, you know, right. yeah, we Which it wasn't that long ago, my day, <laughs> let me say. It was just a couple weeks ago, as a matter of fact. We never had cold days. No, there was no cold. It was no, sunny they, they and 75 every day. Weren't exactly, and they definitely weren't closing school the night before. For now, a, oh, we might for get a some little ice. slush. Yeah, right? Come on. I know. Not me. I was always uphill both ways. Yeah. Never had access to a bus In or the car. snow. Yep. No always. coat. Snow in May. And I'd be walking uphill six That's miles. Right. All right. We're back. back. Back in Adam. 
Here as we see now, they're trying to put the finishing touches on this opening match. 24 seconds to go in round three. As Xander Hampton is points wise dominated this one. Started a little dicey for him, but now Phil Hound's got him, turns it over with a chance to, for the pin, but Xander gets out of it. And now they're just trying to take it to the finish line. Caden, oh, that one looks like it hurts. It looks like, look at that left shoulder of Phil Hout there. It looks like it kind of grunted a little bit. They're both guys slow to get up, but we'll, we'll see here. As they turn in their bands and we'll get a decision. Yep, Xander wins that one. It's always been amazing to me just how arms bend in yeah, this sport. That one looks like it it hurt me. It hurt it from over like here. He might be getting some some work done. Huh? All right. So now we got the 157 weight class, it looks like, for for the Lakers. Ethan Kraus. Ethan Kraus. So he's in the 159 category wrestling at 157.4. Baker is in the 157 category and he's wrestling at 157.3. And we're underway here of the second match of this final matchup of the evening. This one between Groves and West Bloomfield. An early lead for the Lakers as we see Becker with a takedown of Groves' Kraus. See these guys sparring here. Back and forth. They both get up, ready to go. A low takedown attempt. A little bit of a shove. And Ooh. he goes, he likes to go low with that leverage, does Becker. Two points there awarded. We already seen more points in this match than uh, than the last one given out. Four to one now is the early lead for Becker over Kraus, which is West Bloomfield over Groves for those watching at home. A minute 10 to go in the opening round. If they do three here. Three two minute rounds. And when you're in the ring, I tell you, the two minutes seems like <laughs> it's a, long a half two hour, minutes. I tell yeah. you. Yeah. It is a very long, it's, I mean, it's only a little over halfway through and these guys, I'm sure they're winded. But uh, you know, they are well conditioned athletes here. We but it is Becker. sort of amazing that they'll they'll wrestle more than one match yep. uh, yeah, they throughout the evening. Upwards of six they, they can, can do. do six, yeah. Yeah, it's that's what amazing. Coach Joe Jones told us. A takedown there by Becker. And he gets two points for that. It's six to two. West Bloomfield leads this match. Here with about 30 seconds to go in this round. Becker really getting good leverage on Kraus thus far. The takedowns, getting pins, as it looks like we got a, a little ankle belt that appears to have fallen off of Groves. But you know Bobby Hearn's on it, he's looking for the pin. Becker looking for the pin. Kraus doing what he can to keep those shoulder blades off. And is he saved by the whistle? Possibly. We got three points awarded to Becker there in a really good first round. Yeah, and Becker Bluefield. was probably thinking, what, is, what do I got to do here? He, he looked like he had the pin. Yeah, yeah, it was very, very close. So a 9-2 to lead thus far for the Lakers as the second round underway. Becker looking to finish it off here. He's so close. Now he's got him, I think, where he needs him. Another point for West Bloomfield there. Yep. It's all about leverage in this yeah, sport. Yeah, it really is. And it's, it's tight, sort of lower center of gravity, short, stockier guys have the most success. The taller, thin ones, even at the same weight class, can really have a disadvantage, it seems. I've been watching a lot of wrestling up in the Oscoda area. My family member is in grade school, actually, so I've been attending some matches up through there and just, just fascinating to watch it and the, the success that some different body styles have versus others. For sure, and it's amazing. I've seen some with some real big folks and some real small folks, and just a matter of the weight class and everything here is uh, we see Elon Becker 
defeat Ethan Kraus. So another win for West Bloomfield here in, in their matchup. So. All right, this is Steven. Steven Connolly wrestling at uh, the 167 weight class. He's weighed in today at 161.8, so he'll be going against what I believe to be Davis Hurley in the 165 weight class is how it, he normally wrestling at, and he today just a notch under 161 for him, so a couple of head pops there, and now we're gonna try to see some action. And action it is. These guys are going after it. Looks like Stephen Connolly has a little bit different of a uh, uniform on than the rest of the team. No yellow in his, so but he does have the white waistband, for those of you wondering, for Groves. And the yeah, Lakers. Yeah, could we have gotten something other than green for the other yeah, side? Yeah, right, Just a lot of ask. green, a lot of green, a <laughs> lot of white. But West Bloomfield has more of the black stripes with the white numerals on the front. Davis Hurley now on top of Stephen Connolly, but Connolly with the pickup there. Oh, and he takes him down. Nice use of the legs there, and now he's got him. This is what they call a, a sleeper hold almost, is what they call it in the mainstream media. Stephen with the one arm shimmy. It's not a real thing, but it sounded good. <laughs> I think you're, we're going to be coining a lot of phrases here. Yeah, these, they've, never, they've never heard these before. Take a look. A nice take down here as we're going to see it again right there. Bang! Wow, that was. So a little, that's good use of the legs here. They're going to go apart here. And, uh, a lot of action, all just for three total points to be awarded. Two for Groves, one for West Bloomfield here in this match. 48 seconds to go. Hurley get out of that. Now they're uh, getting ready to go at it, sizing each other up, ready to spar. Here they go. A couple guys to look out for for the Groves Falcon. Falcons, rather. Eli Hainick, he's been uh, having a really good year. He had a strong performance earlier today against Farmington, and Joe Jones was very high on him when he spoke to us earlier. And obviously we know about Aiden Wan. He's been doing it a while, and uh, he's had a really strong start to his year as well. We see Hurley on top now, getting a couple points. As the opening round comes to a halt. With a four to two lead for the West Bloomfield Lakers. Andy, were you ever into wrestling? Did you like as a as a as an adolescent, um, high school days? We're talking like like did you Dick the Bruiser? No, like were you? Did you ever wrestle? I uh, no, say. that's no, yeah, no. me either. I was a brother rice. There was a very they didn't have that there? very oh they had it. It was a little more competitive. Oh, um, than my oh, tastes. Okay. Uh, they had a good permitted. team. Then. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they had guys that went on to wrestle in college. Now we desperately try not to draw any parallels between professional wrestling oh, yeah, yeah. It's and not coming Roman off wrestling. the top rope. But if I may. You may. Maybe you don't know this. Maybe you do. But I learned this recently. Roman Reigns, who's the intercontinental belt holder or whatever uh, okay. of the WWE, actually was on the Georgia Tech football team with really? Calvin Johnson. Really? That is a fun fact. Is yeah. early with a takedown? That is a very fun fact. What if... Calvin would have gone that route. Well, you know, I thought about it. My cat, Calvin's been retired now a couple, few years, and Reigns, I believe, is he's right at the top of that sport oh, right still? at the moment. So, you know, okay. what is it, 36 or 35 That's what I know, yeah. So that, that's about right, but uh, they were there during the same time. And both uh, friendly with one another, very complimentary to each other's skills. And, yeah, I found that very fascinating. In fact. Yeah. It's a good, uh, good job there by Steve. Connolly to break out of that now, and he gets back, ready spar position here. And there, oh, good job by Hurley, though, to stay stay low there and not get taken down, and now he ends up in the top position. 20 seconds to go in the second round of this match. 
the 165 and 167 weight class colliding. I'm just gonna stay on top here, try to get us to, to the whistle. And we will. We're gonna go neutral position here to start this one off. Two minutes on the clock, we're ready to go. Just kidding, we'll wait a beat. <laughs> and now we're at it. Quick low shot there, but Hurley quickly gets down in a really strong position, gets a couple points. It's now 11 to three in favor of West Bloomfield here in this third match of this one. Third round of the third match. Hurley moving Connolly here, and he's got him down. Bobby Hearn official is in counting here, trying to see how long he can get him down. Connolly trying. He hasn't moved. He's got to pin that bad gotta, shoulder blade. Got to keep the blades down, but he calls it, and that's it. Davis Hurley, the winner of this one. Five pins him. That's going to be a few more points for the Lakers here, who are already gonna add to their nine to nothing lead. You'll see there, that's that shoulder blade pin they were yep. trying to hold down. And Steven was doing everything he could. West Blue, oh, West Bluefield, so. Yeah, they are, uh, they are off to a very strong performance and off to a 15 to nothing lead here in this one. As we head into the fourth match, of the match, I'll say, as we... Okay, here comes Solomon Jones. Solomon Jones coming in. He's at the 177 weight class. Weighed in at 175 today. And Guy's getting a little bigger, Nick. Have you noticed that? <laughs> a little bit bigger. Right. A little bit heavier. A little bit taller. Solomon is a big dude. Looks like he'll be uh, he'll be opposed by. It's I want to say it's Muhammad Adid. Yeah, I think so. Sorry, folks. We're doing the best we can in terms of uh, identifying, especially the West Bloomfield wrestlers. We have our the roster life saving down. assistance here from Groves at our scorers table. We've been helping us out. Gross wrestling. I need to put some numbers on these guys. For sure. Why not, right? It, c it could never be as chaotic as calling a track meet, however. Oh, that There's seems. Dozens and hundreds of people. There's a lot of people, a lot of different events going on at the same time. At least here we can focus on one as Sadiq gets on top here of Solomon Jones, but this is a big frame to try to move around. They are at similar weights, though. One seven, one seven, I guess Solomon's got him by about seven pounds. He is much taller. So, Ross Bloomfield has that low leverage that he can get. But that's that center of gravity issue we discussed earlier. No doubt. That's, uh, that's Solomon the has those long arms, though. See if he's trying to put them to use now. But it looks like Wes Bloomfield looking for the pin. And it looks like he might get it. Can't quite move that shoulder blade. He's trying, he's grabbing the knee. That official Bobby Hearn in great position. There's a great shot of it there by our camera personnel here at BHCB Sports. Giving you the shot right into your living room. Coming at you. Oh, he's about to blow it. Well, they're almost out of that circle. Yeah. If that happens, and you'll hear that rough. Solomon's. Flopping around, he taps, that's it. Oh, it looks like he's a little slow, he woozy got here. A hit. As he was tapping out here, so that'll do it for this one. The uh, the anklets come off as Solomon Jones taps out, right? Let's see, he starts, he does a couple uh, worm flops and then he taps, so another couple points for West Bloomfield. 21 nothing. they extend their lead. So 
So far, all four matches have gone the way of the West Bloomfield Lakers as the Groves will try to get on the board here in the fifth matchup of this one. All right, so we are kind of following the script here, Nick. Uh, uh, this it. is Liam. Liam Cinder Welby's. Yeah, he's at the 192 weight class, but he's weighing in today at a lean 182.2. And it looks like he will be going up against, uh, I believe that's Bryce Coburn. Who weighed in at 182.6. Yeah, Coburn, these two are almost exactly the same weight, which is an interesting I guess observation. Over looking about. for an early pin over Liam. So we'll try to get a well, we chatted with him earlier. Andy had the privilege of chatting with him. Yeah, Liam uh, Liam's a big camping guy. Loves the outdoors, huge into hiking, now. and he's in some pain at the moment. So and he lost. That was quick. Yeah. But uh, you know, he does like camping, so maybe he'll get an opportunity to spend some time outdoors and hopefully the, with the warm weather coming up. For all of us' sake, we can all spend some time outdoors. Yeah, he had some other fun facts he wanted to give us, but I don't think they were appropriate for the air. <laughs> yeah, um, right. He said, uh, how dark can I be? And, so, and we said, yeah. you know what, maybe let's refrain from, from the that. The scoring he, table of yeah, He did have a really good personality on him, though. <laughs> oh, smiling, yeah, laughing, great. cracking jokes. Uh, so uh, although his time in the ring wasn't long, long lasting, but uh, his time over here was a lot of fun. Okay, we're he still drops good, that Nick. one to uh, Bryce Coburn in a quick one. Aiden Wan now. Aiden Wan, we talked about him earlier. Yeah, and, he's, uh, he's, he's been one of be Joe Jones' against, uh, highlight guys, so we'll see what he's capable of here at 211.8. Yeah, he looks like he's uh, in a good position here. He picks up a couple points here, and he, there's another takedown by him. We'll see if, what he gets for that. Trying to get him on the board as West Bloomfield leads this one 27 0, 140 to go. In the opening round, and looks like Aiden Wan's got a near pin coming up. Look at Bobby Hearn in position to call it. There's a pin, and Groves is on the board. Six big points for Aiden Wan. Continues his yeah, good he, start to the year. Let's see that takedown again. He made some really quick work here, and it was that, that airborne move that, that, was. that referee. Bobby Hearn cautioned us against, and he yeah. makes him a little nervous. Depends on how you land, right? Yeah, it was a smooth landing. No one appears to be too injured. But uh, OK. Omari Hairston at 248, and that's going to be a victory for Groves yep. as no one West Bluefield does not have anyone at that weight class available to wrestle. So Groves will get some default points there. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one for him. So yeah. On the board. Omari didn't even break a sweat over there. <laughs> Big smile yeah, by him. Yeah, he's like, They'll take right, him I'll, anyway. I'll take they the can. victory. Yep. Absolutely. He's yep. not going to give that back. All right, here we go. We got a, got a lighter okay. weight one coming up here. As we're going to have a match. Okay. Here comes Cooper. Cooper Bishop, Cooper Bishop. and uh, Carson Acree coming up here. So uh, it's Cooper Bishop for the Falcons in the green and yellow. And we got Carson Acree at 103.6 for Groves. And Cooper was at 107.3. So very within a pound here as they're set to go. 27-12 our score. So two victories in a row for Groves, one by default. But uh, we'll see. Oh, there's a big takedown by a Cree of West Bloomfield. A couple points awarded early on. He's going to try to get a pin or a tap here. We'll see, but a nice takedown to start us off. He's got good leverage here, good position here. So I think he's got Cooper where he wants him. Whereas you see the position on the back of the head. Feel like Bishop I'm, fight back. He did not look good for him earlier. Yeah, he, he looked like he could have gotten pinned, but he's he's worked that upper body and that strength up to try to, to keep the opponent off. Extend this match as long as he can. Try to minimize the opponent points and uh, like I said, extend it. Carson for West Bloomfield is looking good. He's in a dominant position on top. Look at that, to the back of the head there, just holding him down, but oh, now he's flipped into a good spot to get a pin. 
Cooper flops out of it though. Now he's in a little chokehold, but it started like he was gonna get pinned. Two points awarded now for Wes Bloomfield again here for this round. 42 seconds to go in the opening round of this match. We'll see if it gets to the end. Yeah, that's just the way some of these legs and knees get cranked on. It just hurts my menisci. I'm feeling bruises. Yeah, the next I feel day. my ACL getting a little, little limp. Well, you know, a meniscus that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, but the ACL is the what ACL hurts. would be not so good. I mean, neither one would necessarily feel great, and most certainly looks like it's uh, a lot of pain. As there's a nice power move there by Carson. It is testament to the strength of the human body. You think about that. It really the is. Flexibility. The flexibility of these athletes as we come to the end of round one. It's a 4 nothing start for Take West Bloomfield. Again, we'll see the highlights of that one. This big takedown to start <laughs> it, but not much happened after. And here we go, starting round two here of this matchup. 27-12, 4 nothing in this one. West Bloomfield on top of both. Happy to have you with us on this BACV Sports broadcast. Nick Buckler alongside Andy Aubrey inside of Groves High School in Beverly Hills, Michigan, as we're at the 106 weight class. And we are glad you joined us, but if you're missing portions of this, feel free to go online. You can watch us anytime, BACV Sports. BloomfieldTWP.org website. There's a video on demand link there. And uh, got our able bodied crew here tonight with the cameras. Mr. Mike Kottmeyer calling the shots in the truck. Only the best here at BACB Sports, as always. We'll be back for some more winter sports action this week. Girls volleyball on the docket. We got some hockey coming up next week. Basketball. Yeah, we got you covered here for the winter sports uh, season here for your Birmingham area schools. Going to have a swim meet coming up. We got them all. And then we, there's, so you uh, know it, we'll have the spring sports coming after. Yep, that. that's it. Baseball, softball, all the soccer, rest. Soccer, lacrosse. We work their way to the edge of this ring here, see if they can stay in. 4-0 still, not much gone on here in round two. Just some friendly sparring, no points awarded. Carson bent on top for West Bloomfield over Cooper. Now he's got him in a pin, but he takes him outside. So we'll get a brief pause and they'll head back to the center. Cooper will start on the ground and Carson on top once Bobby Hearn blows the ready for play. There we go, we're back. Now we're back. You hear the coaches yelling to their respective athlete. Here is literally coaching on the fly, but you know, I know you had a chance last year when we were broadcasting to Oh, he's saved by the bell, I think. Because I think Cooper was almost getting pinned, but the end of round two saved him. But, as I was saying, last year's meet, you had the chance to interview a lot of the, the athletes after their, their match, and uh, a lot of them said they don't really hear the coaching uh, in when it's live, because you know there's so much going on, you're so focused on the task at hand, trying not to get pinned and extend your match, or trying to finish the job. Uh, right. Well, wait. You know, right now there's a pretty sparse crowd in the bleachers because this is the last of the evening. Earlier, there were a lot of folks here, a lot of making a lot of noise. Sometimes you have two matches going on at opposite ends yeah. of, of the a lot of noise court, and it was just chaos in Bedlam. And I asked those guys, "Do you hear this? I mean, the coaches are shouting, the, the their teammates are shouting." No. Yeah, they don't. It's all white noise. They can't tell anything of what's being said specifically. Now, again, tonight, right now in this match, it's kind of quieter in here. I think you probably could pick up some direction, some encouragement, whatever it might be. Yeah, you can almost make out the exact words each coach is saying, but if you yeah. notice, both of the uh, the head coaches are uh, pretty calm and quiet. They really are. Yeah. It's the assistants who are getting into it there as this one comes to an end, and it looks like Carson or Wes Bloomfield takes this one. And he'll pick up six points for the Lakers. So 
So 33 to 12 now our score. That one did not make it all three rounds. It was called. So we'll take another gander at this one. As we see right here is it uh, didn't end well for the Groves Falcons there. Cooper Bishop. Bloomfield wins that one by default at the 113 weight class as Groves did not have someone to go against him. So there's a couple more points for the Lakers, 39-12. And it looks like we will have a match here. Okay, here comes Eli. Eli Hainick, he had a really good showing earlier against Farmington and he'll go again here. He's, uh, He's at the 122 and he weighed in at 120. That's Even perfection right there. That's zero. a lot of gallons of water drank, <laughs> a lot, a lot of, of morning runs, yeah. and a lot of clothes. And uh, we'll see. It's either Brian Valentine or Sean Fox. Because the next weight class, 128, maybe, well. This is an Sam Evo. Sam Crane, they got a lot of guys in this. They uh, do, there's a log jam class. on West Bloomfield so, side. Again, we apologize uh, for not being able to narrow this one, but uh, yeah, West Bloomfield has about five wrestlers at this weight. So we'll do the best we can here, but we do know it's Eli Hainick for Groves. They're right on the edge here, sparring, feeling each other out, waiting to see who's gonna give first. No points given yet here as we are 40 seconds in for this round and a little spin. Now they're back in spar. Hainick goes low. West Bloomfield gets taken down by Hainick. He's got him with a chance to pin. And does he got him? We'll see if they call it. He's got him pinned and in a chokehold, but he's moving. A lot of action. Does Hainick have him? Crowd urging him on, both sides going. Look at that great look, and it's a tap. Or I'm sorry, that's a pin. Eli Hainick wins it again. Some well-earned points for Groves, and it's now 39-18. We'll take another look at that, Nick. What a spinning takedown. Outstanding move. Eli with a really dominant performance there. One twenty-six. Looks like we're here. okay. This one's gonna Alex go to Frost. Groves. This one's going to go to Groves by default. Here's they void. West Bloomfield voids it. So Alex Frost. Nope. Yep, they do. With the freebie. Yeah. So they'll take it. Alex Frost picks up the win. He says, thank you. And one third. What was his weight class here? I was trying to. 32. 132 weight class. It doesn't look like. Waiting to see if Joe Jones is going to send a wrestler out. It looks like he is. Looks like we got one on each side. We got Gus now. We got Gus. Gus Hartzell. Gus Hartzell at 127.4. They're wrestling at 133 class. And it looks like uh, maybe Jason Sharp. It could or be Christian uh, Aussie or Jonah Owen. We don't know. Again, they have a lot of guys at these two weight classes. Here does West Bloomfield, but. Whoever it is, he's putting on his anklets and we're getting ready to get after it. A lot of times these matchups are decided on the spot by these coaches. As, yeah, um, it's so, all on the fly. I mean, that doesn't yep, help us much, yep, does it? <laughs> yep, they say, all right, we're sending this class and the coach decides, are we gonna avoid it? Which means they're not sending someone and defaulting the match or 
they're going to send one of their wrestlers out. In uh, this case, they each send one, and so there's really no lineup ahead of time to say, here's who we got and when they're going. Right. It's like a little somewhat of a takedown by West Bloomfield, two points awarded. West Bloomfield on top, looks like they're in position here. 45 seconds gone by in the opening round. And a big airborne takedown and a whistle. A stop at a big takedown by West Bloomfield. That was an airborne one. One point to the Lake. No, nope, one point awarded to Groves actually for that. Hearn doesn't like that kind of action. Looks like we see this one again. Look at the shoulder too as it goes down. That was a really good look. Gus landed hard on that shoulder. Airborne's always scary. So we'll get started here. A minute to go in the opening round of this match. Looks like they're trying to get the pin here, trying to get a tap. A really strong position here for the Lakers. He's trying to crawl to the outside, but he's held in there by West Bloomfield. Right on the edge right there, and they are out. Gonna move back to center here, 21 seconds remaining in the opening round. 39-24 the score, West Bloomfield on top. See it again as they slithered out there to get the reset. Yeah, once they got out of that circle, it was time to bring them back in. You see Gus trying to work his way out there every time, maybe buy his way into the, uh, to the break here. Two seconds to go, and saved by the whistle. So they'll head back to center. Two to one lead in this one for West Bloomfield. Off the whistle, Gus. And we're underway for round two. What is that, Joe said? We go to the whistle. We go to the whistle. It's not the horn. And a big take Ooh. down there, a leg sweep. Gus taken down by West Bloomfield. He's trying to get his way back up. Good job by West Bloomfield to stay strong on top. Gus trying to spin here, but now it looks like he's in a, almost a pin position. He's getting into the tripod, trying to, to stay up, and now rolling onto his back. Back up top, Gus looking for the takedown. It's reversed by West Bloomfield. Two points awarded. Oh, the, ooh, he was going for the takedown, but Gus got out of it. Now the leg sweep. He's got his ankle tied up. And a takedown again for West Bloomfield. Gonna go back to center here. Got a hand violation of some kind. Bobby Hearn moving him back to center here. 45 seconds to go in the second round of this one. We'll see that ankle leg sweep here. Down, and, down he goes. Yeah, he's trying to break that, that hand lock he had. Yeah. And it just didn't happen. That's when he decided to go for the airborne move. Look at the legs tied up there. You hear the players egging on their teammates saying, bury his head, trying to, to get in a more dominant position. Fifteen seconds to go, round two. These two wrestlers going at it. There, they just take him out as both wrestlers go out of the circle there, and they'll go back to center with eight seconds to go. And we're back. 
back for round two. Whistle blows and we're underway. Five seconds to go, we'll see what happens. <laughs> whistle goes and that sig signal stoppage. So it looks like this one's gonna go to a third round here. Two minutes on the clock. And you mentioned how I had interviewed the, play the uh, wrestlers after they came off the mat, the way we did that format last year. I thought it was incredibly honest and raw. I mean, you're not going to sure. find more real interviews. Um, these guys were still panting. They're, some of them were still had the gauze shoved up their yeah, nose right. these bloody exactly. noses. And it was just, I really enjoyed that. I think maybe we'll have to try that one again next year because yeah, it was uh, it's, it's it's real. Great, right, it was a nice snapshot into this sport. Uh, ooh, nice move. As far as the emotion, because this is a very emotional sport. It's a very raw, honest sport. I mean, it's, it's just you. 100%. You on your man, and or in some cases, the females are involved a little bit too these days. We've seen a lot of change of the momentum here in this one. We saw Gus with a takedown and then a near pin, and then it got switched the other way. Eight to two is the match points total right now. And now we see a big reverse there, but now Gus gets him the other way. Forty seconds to go in the third round. We'll see if it makes it the length. I don't know if it's gonna now. It looks like he's got him pinned. And they call it. it. That was, uh, Gus really looked like it wasn't gonna last long early and he really fought back. He did. And almost he extended this one the distance, got a near pin there, but this one's gonna go to West Bloomfield. So this one up 44-24. This may be the, uh, the last one here, if my math holds correct. All right, this is Cy Connolly at 138, 140 weight class. Could be Jonah Owen opposing him at 136.6. That's a potential matchup for the West Bloomfield Lakers. And what could be the final match of the evening here? 45-24, the lead for West Bloomfield. Two minutes on the clock. We're underway for round one of this one. These two guys sparring. Stutter step there from Cy Connolly and a takedown for West Bloomfield. They're right on the edge of the circle here. Two points for that takedown and one point there for the return by Groves. Two to one leaves this one. Just over 30 seconds gone by in the opening round. A takedown it looks like for West Bloomfield, yep, they call it that. Now almost in a pin position. Got a really strong leg lock there. And a leg sweep there by, I believe, Jonah Owen of West Bloomfield, right on the edge of the circle. Are they gonna roll out of it? Yes. They're gonna go back to center with 52 seconds to go here in the opening round. And a power move there by West Bloomfield. Cy Connolly fighting. Trying to kind of turn the, the tides of this one. And he stands up, gets back into it, and near pin, he's got him in a position, but Cy Connolly flips out of it. And looks like he's 
got him in a nice chokehold. Trying to turn him into a pin. He's got him there. We'll see if he gets it. West Bloomfield on top. Cy Connolly is not going to get out of that one. Well, that was hard fought. It was kind of a blink of an eye sort of thing. Looked like Cy was going to be able to twist out of it, but it was not meant to be. So West Bloomfield extends their lead a little bit further. We see this last one. 51-24, my math appeared off. So I thought that would be the last one. This could be here. Okay. This is Jackson, Samaya Jackson. All right, so 137.7. 140 weight class, so he might be going against uh, Christian Aussie, possibly. That's my guess, yeah. At 140 on the dot. So we'll see here as they get their ankle wraps ready to go. 51-24, the lead for West Bloomfield. And the whistle is sounded, and we're underway. They spar, feeling each other out, seeing who's going to be the first to make a move. West Bloomfield appears to go for the takedown, slides out of it. Feeling each other out. 30 seconds gone by here in the opening round. Big a lot lead. of tension here. For yeah, this there is. You hear a pin drop they don't here. really want to be the first to kind of make a mistake. But at the yeah, same time, if you, you go for that, sh that quick bolt in. And you miss, they could fall on top, out. too, and, you and then you're think. almost pinned. Exactly. And we see a little against you. Bobby Hearn didn't like the slapping match that was going on, so we blew it and said, uh, let's let's restart this here. <laughs> He's get into neutral position here and get after it. And there uh, we see, it looks like, I believe, Aussie going for the low, the low jolt there. But Jackson now trying to make a, a high push. Groves in the green and yellow. West Bloomfield in the green and black. Still no points awarded here in this one. Over a minute gone by in the opening round. There it is. Trying to get the takedown. And there it is. West Bloomfield going to get the takedown. No points. Yep, now they got two. Now he's going for the pin, and he turns out of it. West Bloomfield awarded two points for the takedown. Two more points there. So we got, oh, a big takedown and a leg sweep by West Bloomfield there, right back to the center circle. Let's him get up just to try to do it again. Good job by Samaya Jackson to get out of it, and then a big leg sweep again. These guys are flying. Five seconds to go in this first round. And uh, the whistle will go. Very good first round there. West Bloomfield trying to put the finishing touches on this one. 51-24 their lead. And a little tentative there to start that for these two. But they, they got after it eventually. Should we go for a uh, second period? Definitely made up for it. And West Bloomfield on top to start this one. Five seconds in. Seeing if they can go all three rounds. Not really letting Jackson out of his grasp. Is West Bloomfield. There's a takedown in a possible pin position. Good looks here all night provided by these Camera crew here, BACB Sports, replays and graphics as well. He gets out of the pin, we'll see. Wes Bloomfield trying to finish it off. All right. We'll see if he calls it. It's Jackson Omer we're looking at. Oh, the whole There's time. Jackson, first name, last name, is too many Jacksons. A lot of Jackson going my on son. here for Groves. Jackson so, Omer. Sorry, so folks. We apologize, he's we wrestling do. at 146. So that could change who it is. This could be Julian Brenner for West Bloomfield at 144.4. So again, apologize to all parties involved. As this one nearing the end, it's in. That's going to do it. It's going to be West Bloomfield with the pin. 
And that's going to do it uh, See the for replay this here. one. Nick, this is uh, going to wrap it up for us, but let's take this opportunity to look at the last paint bit of action we've had here tonight. And that's going to do it. These wrestlers will sh line up and shake hands as good sportsmanship dictates, but we saw them get after each other, didn't yeah, we? We really did. We saw a lot of action, a lot of takedowns and leg sweeps, and West Bloomfield uh, kind of controlled this one from beginning to end, but we did see some uh, some positives from the Groves Falcons. One in particular, Aiden Wan, he had a really good uh, performance as yeah, well. Groves, Groves made some ground up there. They mid, did, mid quick, match. quick. And, uh, Yep, Eli Hainick with a win as well. So both guys uh, having really good performances in both of their matches today. So a win and a loss for Groves today. They defeated Farmington but lost uh, at the hands of West Bloomfield. West Bloomfield picks up a pair of wins today in Farmington with no wins, but uh, you know some good some good reps getting in as we approach uh, the state meet, counties, and everything coming up. Still everything uh, out in front of these guys. So. Uh, you know, a lot of goals still achievable for oh, everyone absolutely. involved. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be uh, time to make up for this one, but uh, every match is a learning experience. And there you see the coaches, Joe and and uh, Greg. Yep, they're uh, in the chat. A lot of good, uh, a lot of good years of experience. They shake hands, say job well done, and uh, as Dan Miller would say, job. Better done by the winner. Job better done. <laughs> That's Absolutely. always his catchphrase. But uh, that wraps it up for us here at Groves. Uh, final in this one, Groves with a win and a loss. Uh, defeat West Bloomfield. Or I'm sorry, defeat Farmington and drop this one to West Bloomfield. For everyone at BACB Sports, our director, Mike Kottmeyer, and my broadcast partner, Andy Aubrey, I'm Nick Buckler. Join us next time on BACB Sports. <laughs>